Hello and welcome back. My name is Salos and this is Sky Wanderers. So, coming back into the BC 304 Salosian styled version, we are we're back in the engineering room at the moment. Just uh, in case I did change anything, but I don't think I did yet. I don't think I've actually done anything down this end. But um, as you can see, it's all pretty similar over here. But I have been working my way through the ship. And today is the day for the Missile Control Center review and a bit of a showcase. So just coming up from there, so this is where the mess hall is, just in there through that window, just above the engineering. And then you come through here and there will be crew quarters and officer quarters down there along with a secondary control center down the very end. But if you come up here, we will have crew quarters on the left and the right. As you can see, I sort of just started mapping out the crew quarters. And then this is a higher ranking crew quarter officer's chamber. It's just a little bit bigger. All these rooms, I'm thinking, will have bunks just on the wall here, a bathroom of some sort just in here, and a table, just a little bit of decorating. But each room will have a sliding bulk door, so that way it's pressurized, whatever, if there was pressure. Anyway, coming along here, so just imagine that you've got crew quarters just along both sides there. We have our missile control center just here. Now, I'm not really happy with the fact that it's right next to crew quarters, but the idea behind this ship is that we're not going to be firing missiles every day of every week and just all the time, every day of every year. It's just going to be some sort of room at the end of the corridor that, you know, you can send one of your crew to to man and say, hey, you know, take out the enemy. They're not being diplomatic. So, we've got our sliding door here. Pretty happy with that, but got a bit of logic there visible. But just um, coming in, you can sort of see the uh, roof is a little bit funky design, but that will make more sense once I explain. So, everything looks sort of standard from here, pillar in the middle. But when you come side on, you can actually see just what I've sort of done in the middle here. So we've got a little bit of logic here, but this will hopefully be filled up entirely by the time that we actually get working mis guided missiles. Currently, the targeting computer, which is um, under this one. Uh, so you've got the turret computer, and then you've got the target computer. So this is what you'll be using to guide missiles, as far as I know but currently that is disabled I believe due to development issues and just getting it to work nicely. So just coming along here you've got our servers of sorts which you can gain access to. So a big sort of orange glass door opens up. You can gain access to the uh, hinge bay doors for the missiles and then you've also got the delays between each missile being fired. Um, override sort of switch for each individual door and then an override switch for the missile firing which you can gain access to for each individual tube which I will show shortly but coming up here you've got the uh, end of the missile control room you've got the uh, hollow sort of projector so that way you can see just what you're looking at with the ship so you can sort of just see there this is where we are we're underneath the missile area here you can sort of just see like a bit of a circle there. That's this table right here. But you can just sort of get an idea of what the ship's looking like from the outside. But I will take you out there shortly and I'll show you what it looks like from outside. So that's that. And then you've got the logic panels, which you can open from here, which will open all the doors. But at the moment, we don't need those open. We've got the right-hand side missile doors, which will make more sense when I show you up top, and the left-hand side. The rest of these buttons currently don't do anything. These will all be linked up though. I want every button to be functional in this place. But for the moment, we are somewhat limited in actually firing the missiles. We can fire them, but they only go straight up. Okay, coming up to the actual control panel. So, these here you can access, which will show you the outside of the ship, which will show you looking from the left hand side and the right hand side missile bay doors. And then you've got firing one tube, which will fire four rockets, ten tubes, which will fire um, 40 rockets, 
and then all the troops which will fire all 80 rockets at once and then you can do a warning shot which is just literally one little missile launcher here which I will demonstrate shortly um, if solid the doors are closed so the missile doors are closed as you can see from the camera but if I were to open them with this button here the missile doors you can see that it's no longer solid it's sort of a lighter color you can look from here and you can see the missile doors are now open but I will show that from outside in just a moment you have the enter missile fire mode which will bring you to a camera up here which you can then use hotkeys to do so I'll show you from the outside as well but just from interior from this camera perspective you have hotkey 1 the number 1 key which will open the missile doors number 2 will fire one tube four missiles in synchronization and then if you want to fire just one whole side of tubes so 40 missiles but 10 tubes you press 3 which will fire those 40 missiles but let's just say it's a really big enemy ship and you really want to destroy them you press 4 which launches all 80 missiles and you can do that pretty rapidly but I'm pretty damn happy with that how, how with all that and how it turned out closing those doors again and exiting that camera so that's just entering the missile fire mode so if you need to know how to make any of these buttons and switches that I've got here working just ask because it's pretty simple logic and I'm going to start my tutorial series soon on all this stuff but if you want to know a little bit earlier I can make the video fast tracked and show you earlier but um you've basically got the all the buttons here so just like the hotkeys when you're in the missile fire mode you can fire these as well so if I were to go to say press that one you can just see that one single missile fired if you got a chance to see that just like that and then all tubes yeah so I think you get the idea about that and the missile door status so if you open that the um that means it's open if it's at the 81 degrees but if it's at the 357 then it means it's closed um these buttons aren't linked up yet but they will be eventually so that's pretty much it in terms of the missile control center i'm thinking of maybe getting a maintenance hatch of sorts just here you say and so that way you can take like a little elevator through a doors that will open up you can go out onto the roof you can inspect each missile bay but um just further explaining what's with all these weird colors on the roof in case you couldn't tell there's um color-coded logic groups so you got the white and then you got the uh, dark gray so the white one will be this tube and then on the other side it will be the same this tube over here and then dark gray that one there orangey color is this one here red blue so it just sort of uh, helped me to link up all the logic because it did get pretty confusing after a while having all of that logic but um, pretty happy with the door here as well but just need to hide that logic panel there so I'm um, just going on outside I guess I guess we'll just take the uh, hangar bay exit just coming out here so I've done a bit of detailing up this front end of the ship as you can see the rest of the ship is still pretty damn bland but I've sort of been working on that. I've been trying my best to just uh, figure out a pattern and a style that I like. And I'm pretty happy with how this all turned out. I mean, the front of it, the sides of it, they're all pretty bland. But the top of it with the missile doors, I'm really happy with how this turned out. There's a little bit of glitching happening with the uh, hinges there. But not to worry I'm hoping uh, sooner the developer will fix that soon um, and that is for just each individual door just so I could test and show you from outside what they look like so you got the four missile tubes and uh, you can color these of course to whatever color you want so say I want uh, 
Oh, that's already that color, I think. So if make it orange and blue, white. And you can just fire those, and they're going to be that color. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward, but I think we will leave them as they were, as the red color, because that seems to work. And I'm also thinking in future, maybe I'll link up all of these uh, exhaust vents that are along here to a single sort of uh, switch, and then you can just say, like, vent the oxygen in the room, just for, like, a bit of roleplay purpose, maybe. And you can just have all these vents uh, activate at once and just purge all the air from the system, so to say. Uh, this over here was just so I could test out firing the missiles, but uh, then I found out the targeting computers didn't actually work, so that's just sort of there for the future once we get actual targetable missiles. Um, I think that's about it. Um, I will finish the crew quarters not far from now, hopefully. So that should just be in here. Try and clip through the wall here. Oop, a bit too fast. Okay, so um, I think next video we'll have the mess hall finished and the crew quarters from upstairs and then hopefully even down here as well. I just kind of want to get everything done in one section at a time and I'm pretty happy with how the missile turned out so I think I'll move on to crew quarters in here and mess hall, etc. So um, thank you for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, if you want to know how to do anything, just ask, seriously, just if any of this logic stuff you want to know how to do, it is somewhat simple, but if you're having trouble with it, don't hesitate to ask me and I will make a video or I'll get back to you within 24 hours, just try and get this solved for you if you're having an issue with any of the logic stuff in the game. Also, I would recommend checking out my new tutorial series, which will be coming up soon. Hopefully, by the end of the week, I will have several tutorial videos showing off different logic and explaining how to play the game if you're a beginner. So, um, I will see you in the next video.